Welcome back to Hoop Brothers Player Development Series, where we're breaking down the 12 skills of basketball and how you can become elite. Today, we're going over part three, which is post offense. Post offense is a very underrated skill and a lost art at most levels of play. For players, whether it's a guard or a big man, if you're willing to do the dirty work, you can get easy baskets. Let's get into it. At its core, post offense is essentially a physical chess match between you and your opponent. There are two major facets of this, which is face up game, and back to the basket game. Now, an average post player rarely uses the post. They either don't understand it or they've just never really practiced it. An elite post player is a force to be reckoned with on every single play. They dominate their opponent in a one-on-one -on -one matchup and they command double teams. They've got a great balance of both strength and quickness, can make a lot of different finishing moves around the rim and know how to use their opponent's body to their own advantage to get easy baskets. So the first part of improving at the post is improving physically. My man Will here is gonna help me demonstrate how to get a seal in the post. And it's about making sure that you have your body in between the man and the ball. So I'm going to call for the ball out here and I'm going to get a seal here. Will's going to guard me and as the ball comes, I'm making sure that my body is, per is perpendicular to his body so that when I catch, I'm making sure he's not able to reach over and get the ball. So once you get a seal and you get the ball in the post, there's two options. You have a face-up game and the back of the basket game. So when I catch, Will's guarding me, I can face up to him and when you face up, you want to open to the floor. So notice I'm opening with this foot and I'm looking at the floor around me. So if there's a shooter on the opposite side, when I face up and I catch again, I can face up and I can see if there's a shooter there. Now, if Will's hand is up when I face up, I can attack down. If his hand is down, I can shoot up. So there's a lot of different variations. You wanna make sure you can attack both directions off the face up game. Next is being able to use your back to the basket game. So where face up is you're turning this way, back to the basket is I'm using my back to push him down in the paint. So I'm gonna use my back and I can drop step this way or I can attack under on this side. Depending on how I read his body. So when you do a drop step, if Will is shifted up at all and I'm using his body here, I can wrap this back foot around on the bottom and finish on this side of the rim. Once you have a solid foundation of the basic footwork to use in the post, it's more about working on your mental implementation which is really just seeking out opportunities to utilize your post game. Trying to get as many seals as possible and being, being vocal when you have a seal, making sure you call for the ball loudly and attack strong when you have that opportunity. Post offense is one of the most underutilized skills in basketball, but whether you're a guard or a big man, your ability to get seals and make plays and take advantage of mismatches in the post will absolutely help you get a college scholarship. Now we've been through this three scoring skills, which is shooting, driving, and post offense. The rest of these videos are not related to your scoring game, and it only takes one skill to be elite, which means that only one fourth of the game is your ability to score. So look out for the next video and be very self-aware of what skill you have that you can make a leap. If you're serious about taking your game to the next level, then you need to check out Hoop Brothers Player Development Program. We've helped thousands of high school basketball players to reach the college level and have created the most in-depth player development program ever created. If you're serious about elevating your game, click the link below to learn more. Looking forward to help you work on your basketball future.